Hey guys and welcome back. Throughout this video, we'll cover the intuition behind some of the main techniques used in object detection as well as segmentation. We'll also cover how the implementation has evolved over time. In particular, we'll cover regional CNN or RCNN along with its descendants fast RCNN and faster RCNN. Finally, we'll cover the main model called Mask RCNN, which extends such object detection techniques to provide pixel level segmentation. Let's discuss first how it all started. You can join me on Discord, Instagram, and Facebook. Check out all my advanced courses on Udemy, Teachable, and Patreon. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and click the bell icon to stay on top of AI and AR. To enroll in the full Mask RCNN course when it launches, then check out the links down below. This video was made in partnership with GeekyB AI, a company that is transforming the world through AI technology. GeekyB has expertise in computer vision, machine learning, deep learning, and data science. Check the links below to learn more. 2014, RCNN, an early application of CNNs to object detection. Before we get into the history, let's quickly define object detection, which is the task of finding the different objects in an image and classifying them. Ross Gershik et al. found that a CNN can lead to dramatically higher object detection performance on the Pascal VOC dataset as compared to systems based on simpler hog-like features. Understanding RCNN So the goal of RCNN is to take in an image and correctly identify where the main objects via a bounding box are in the image. So the inputs are the image and the outputs are the bounding boxes plus labels for each object in the image. But how do we find out where these bounding boxes are? Well, well, RCNN does what we might intuitively do as well. Propose a bunch of boxes in the image and see if any of them actually correspond to an image. RCNN creates these bounding boxes or region proposals using a process called selective search. At a high level, selective search looks at the image through windows of different sizes and for each image, tries to cluster together adjacent pixels by texture, color, or intensity to identify objects. Once the proposals are created, RCNN warps the region to a standard square size and passes it through to a modified version of LXNet, which at the time was the winning submission to ImageNet 2012 that inspired RCNN. On the final layer, step 4 of the CNN, RCNN adds a support vector machine or SVM that simply classifies whether this is an object and if so, what object. Check out my lecture on support vector machines in the link attached to this video to learn more. How to improve the bounding boxes Now having found the object in the box, we can tighten the box to fit the true dimensions of the object. RCNN runs a simple linear regression on the region proposals to generate a tighter bounding box coordinates to get our final result. So to summarize, RCNN is just the following steps. Generate a set of proposals for bounding boxes, run the images in the bounding boxes through a pre-trained LXNet, and finally an SVM to see what object the image in the box is. And three, run the box through a linear regression model to output tighter coordinates for the box once the object has been classified. Simple, right? 2015, fast RCNN, speeding up and simplifying RCNN. RCNN works really well, but it's really quite slow for a few simple reasons. It requires a forward pass of LXNet for every single region proposal and for every single image, which could reach up to 2000 forward passes per image, which is really crazy. And two, it has to train three different models separately. The CNN to generate the image features, the classifier that predicts the class, and the regression model to tighten the bounding boxes. This makes the pipeline extremely hard to train. In 2015, Rose Gershik, the first author of the RCNN, solved both of these problems, leading to the second algorithm called Fast RCNN. Let's take a look at its main features. Fast RCNN Solution 1, Region of Interest Pooling. For the forward pass of the CNN, Gershik realized that for each image, a lot of proposals for the image invariably overlapped causing us to run the same CNN computation again and again. Around 2000 times again. His solution was simple. Why not run the CNN just once per image and then find a way to share the computation across the approximate 2000 proposals? 
This is exactly what Fast Arsenian does, using a technique called ROI Pool, or Region of Interest Pooling. At its core, ROI Pool shares the forward pass of the CNN for an image across its subregions. So all it takes us is one pass of the original image as opposed to approximately 2000. Fast Arsenian Solution 2 Combine all models into one network. The second insight of Fast RCNN is to jointly train the CNN, classify and bounding box regressor in a single model. Where earlier we had different models to extract image features, the CNN, classify with the support vector machine, and tighten bounding boxes with the regressor. Fast RCNN instead uses a single network to compute all three in one go. They see me rolling, they hate it. 2016, faster RCNN speeding up region proposal. Even with these advancements, there was still one remaining bottleneck in the fast RCNN process, the region proposal. As we saw in the very first step to detecting these locations of the objects is generating a bunch of potential bounding boxes or regions of interest to test. In fast RCNN, these proposals were created using the selective search, a fairly slow process that was found to be the bottleneck of the overall process. The insight of faster RCNN was that the region proposals depended on the features of the image that were already calculated with a forward pass of the CNN, first step of classification. The solution was to reuse those same CNN results for region proposals instead of running a separate selective search algorithm. Over here you can see how a single CNN is used to both carry out the region proposals and classification. This way only one CNN needs to be trained and we get region proposals almost for free or termed cost-free region proposals. How regions are generated. Let's take a moment to see how faster RCNN generates these region proposals from the CNN features. Faster RCNN adds a fully convolutional network on top of the features of the CNN creating what's known as region proposal network. The region proposal network proposed by passing a sliding window over the CNN feature map and at each window outputting K potential bounding boxes and scores for how good each of these boxes is expected to be. For each such anchor box, we output one bounding box and score per position in the image. We then pass each such bounding box that is likely to be an object into fast RCNN to generate a classification and tighten the bounding boxes. And now finally, 2017, mask RCNN, extending faster RCNN for pixel level segmentation. So far, we've seen how we've been able to use CNN features in many interesting ways to effectively locate different objects in an image with bounding boxes. We can extend such techniques to go one step further and locate pixels of the image instead of just bounding boxes. This problem, known as image segmentation, is what Gaming Hey et al. explored at Facebook AI using an architecture known as Mask RCNN. In Mask RCNN, a fully convolutional network, or FCN, is added to the top of the CNN features of a faster RCNN to generate a mask segmentation output. Notice how this is in parallel to the classification and bounding box regressor network of the faster RCNN model. Mask RCNN does this by adding a branch to faster RCNN that outputs a binary mask that says whether or not a given pixel is part of an object. This branch is just a fully convolutional network on top of a CNN based feature map with the following outputs. With the inputs, which are CNN feature map, and the outputs is a matrix of ones on all the locations where the pixel belongs to the objects and zero elsewhere. This is also known as a binary mask. However, the mask RCN authors had to make one small adjustment to make the pipeline work as expected. ROI align, realigning row pool to be more accurate. When run without modifications on the original faster RCNN architecture, the mass RCN authors realized that the regions of the feature map selected by ROI pool were slightly misaligned from the regions of the original image. Since the image segmentation required pixel level specificity, unlike bounding boxes, this naturally led to inaccuracies. The authors were able to solve this by cleverly adjusting the ROI pool to be more precisely aligned using a method known as ROI align. Once these masks are generated, Mask RCN combines them with such classifications and bounding boxes from faster RCN to generate wonderfully precise segmentations. Okay, so now you know about Mask RCN and where it came from. 
If you would like to learn more on how to implement mouse RCNN from scratch in Python and using Windows 10, then check out my course on Udemy, where we will show you everything you need to know, from execution to training to redeployment. I will also give an example of how to create your own road bottle detector and how to quantify it based on the pixels within each segmentation. So looking forward to see you there. This video was developed with Dhruv Parthasarati, who wrote an article on a brief history of CNNs in image segmentation from RCNN to Mars RCNN. You can check out the link to his page and blog and the link attached to this video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next lecture.